It's been in the works since 2019, but a new whiskey distillery is making Palestine its new home. And they have officially moved in. The Morning Loop's Marangeli Lopez caught up with the owner. Mara, they're going to be opening pretty soon. Yeah, that's right, Dana. They are planning to open up this summer. This is the Tawakaro Distillery, and you can actually see where they're located. They're located at the old Coors plant here on Church Road in Palestine, and so they're planning to turn this into a whiskey tasting experience as well as a kind of behind the look, behind the scenes look area. And they're also planning on attracting some extra jobs to residents here in Palestine looking for some extra work. It'll be slow at first, obviously, but we'll have a bar manager and some, some servers. Um, and then we'll have some people in the production as well that, we'll, that we're going to need. The Tawakaro Distilling Company, Tawakaro meaning bend in the river, is operating in Grapevine there in North Texas. And company owner Justin Jackson had plans to relocate his business over to East Texas, somewhere more rural. And it really doesn't get more rural than this. It's actually located right next to the railroad. Um, so before they could move in, though, the city had to make some changes. Church Road was a historically dry road in Palestine, meaning no alcohol sales could be made. So in November, the city of Palestine voted to approve alcohol sales at the site. So what used to be a beer production facility is now transitioning into a whiskey distillery. We needed more space. We were growing. We were making too many, not too many, we were making not enough barrels. We were making a lot of barrels uh, a year. And our previous location in Grapevine, uh, we just ran out of space, plain and simple. And um, we found uh, Palestine and talked with the Economic Development Corporation in, in the city and just had a really good um, uh, vibe together about transplanting our distillery from, from Grapevine out here to Palestine and, uh, and into this building. And they have a lot of space to work with. Owner Justin Jackson has plans to build an outdoor stage to bring live music to the area. And he also mentioned the possibility of hosting some farm to table events here. And this is also the first time that East Texas is included in the Texas Whiskey Trail. So that's also going to attract some tourism to the area. But they haven't opened yet. And like I mentioned, they're planning on opening up this summer. So we're just going to keep on following up with the owners and let y'all know whenever they do open up. But We've got you covered, East Texas. Marangeli Lopez, CBS 19. All right, thank you, Mara.